Hey everyone, my name is Justin Schaefer. I'm a teaching associate professor in chemical and biological engineering. And the failure I want to talk to you today about is that uh, what can happen from lack of expectations and lack of discussion. So this can happen in any avenue of your life. Obviously, it's happened to me in my personal life, but today I'm going to talk about my professional life and it's something that happened to me in graduate school. So um, when I was doing my PhD program, I had an opportunity to work on a manuscript or a paper with another professor, not who my primary advisor was. And and I was really excited at the opportunity and my advisor, uh, they just weren't that interested in it. They said, you know, go ahead, go do it, have fun with it. So I said, okay. So I worked for a number of months, you know, actually close to a year on this project uh, with this other professor and we ended up getting a paper out of it. And I was, you know, really jazzed because my original, um, you know, my, my, my advisor, they told me, just go do it. And I said, okay. And I went and did it. And I did all this work again. I worked really hard. I was really proud of it. And then I went, I went back to told, tell them that this came out, right? This we're having a paper. Uh, this paper is getting published. Uh, my advisor was very upset with me. They were very disappointed that I didn't really give them updates on how things were going. Uh, they were upset that I didn't share more about the project and how it went because it was kind of related to what we were doing, but but different. And you know, I was really caught off guard because I thought. I had done a good job. I thought they would be proud of me because I went and did this other thing, uh, you know, without their guidance. I was kind of grown up in a way scientifically, but um, obviously I did not read the expectations clear enough. When they told me, go and do it, I did that, but I did not follow through enough. I did not share enough. I did not communicate enough at the beginning what the actual expectations were with my advisor. So because of that, it led to, you know, a few years of rocky relationship, you know, and um, gladly things are kind of on the mend now. And I, I talked to them more, but it really sucked in the moment. And it's still, I have really bad thoughts about it still. And so to learn from this, right, because you fail, you, you screw up, but you want to learn from it. Um, every time I have any kind of interaction with someone in my professional life, we talk about expectations. We talked about clear communication. This could be from a faculty colleague I'm working on a research project on. This could be uh, my students in the classroom. I try to be as clear as possible with my students about what expectations are for a course. My undergraduate research students, I let them know, here's what I expect out of this relationship. You tell me what you expect out of the two, right? So, so again, this is a something that happens like this it can happen to all of us in any aspects of our lives and um, you got to learn from it in this case i think i did right but it still doesn't re replace and uh, fix what happened before but um again just try to have clear expectations try to have clear communication with those you work with and those in your life and hopefully you know things will be aces so uh thanks